Hi everybody, Craig Wilkins back here with you with another edition of The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Saturday, February 18th, 2023. I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but that today's devotional will help encourage, inspire, and motivate you and put a smile on your face as well. Please hit that like button down below if you enjoyed this devotional and feel free to share this devotional with anyone you feel may be blessed by it. Also, catch more episodes of the Daily Pause Devotional by checking out my YouTube channel, Greg Wilkins, my Facebook page, The, the, the Daily Pause, or follow me on Twitter at Greg Wilkins 78 I hope that every devotional of the Daily Pause helps you to continue to strive to be the best that you can be on any given day. And always remember, God loves you, God cares for you, and God will always, always be there for you. Well, let's get started with today's devotional entitled, Why Stress Sometimes Wins. And it's inspired by a conversation, an off and on conversation has been going on for the last couple of times we've had studio sessions with this very talented young lady. Her name is Marche Murray. We call her Shay. And she's very talented, very, very smart, and just, just an incredible talent. But when she comes to the studio and she, she has some solos that she has to do. And yesterday we were working on some ad libs and she started to get ready. She was getting set up in front of the microphone and she started to start thinking about what she was going to do and she said okay let me stop let me stop I said, I'm doing it again I said, let me guess you're overthinking again I said, yep I'm overthinking again I've got to do a better job in that so she was overthinking her overthinking and I just told her simply I've told you before thinking is good thinking is always good overthinking is not good because it leads you open to start worrying and doubting and second guessing yourself and then yeah, and I told her the story about how I let one little error that I made in the studio, I told you this story on this past Monday. I let one little error that I made in the studio, one simple error, I just didn't even turn the mixer on. That, that, that made me think I was stupid. I was overanalyzing myself, reevaluating and second guessing myself. And it led me to a point where I didn't want to do anything. And I was just down, just frustrated. And the more I, the more I kept thinking about that, the more I stayed frustrated. It kept spiraling out of control. And you've heard me mention a lot of times about the what ifs and the Murphy's Law and all that stress and all that fear and all the worry and all the doubting and how all that could come together and just engage on somebody and just take you out before you even know it. And it doesn't have to be anything great. It's just the smallest little thing, the smallest little insignificant mistake or the smallest little doubt can cause you to just snap and just, just start spiraling out of control. And when we talked a little bit about that, she started to get better, even though she would catch herself. No, I'm thinking again, I'm thinking again. But when she got to that point where she just learned to step back, relax and be herself. We call her going into in the vineyard mode because she she's she sings a song for her praise team at her, at her church. Um, and one of the songs she sings and she's well known for is uh, In the Vineyard. It's a very upbeat and very, very just energetic, energetic song. She does it very well. So we tell her to go into vineyard mode. And when she gets herself into that mindset, she just lets everything else go. She just starts focusing and just relax and starts to have fun in front of that microphone and just let everything go. And when she does that, she started just popping off one take after another, one take after another, just boom, 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 got that done. All right, let's go to the next one. Boom, 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 got that done and go to the next one. But when she started to overthink about what she was going to do with another ad lib, she started to falter again. Like, no, 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 go back to the vineyard, go back to the vineyard. And she did a fantastic job. Every time she gets in front of a microphone, she does a fantastic job. And that she, she, she reminds me a lot of myself at that age and even now. And so, I just want to thank her for allowing that conversation to be a center part of today's devotional and it's entitled why stress sometimes wins stress also known as the silent killer because it's something that you can't see you can't really sense you can't really feel you can't really smell but it pops up and there are signs to it but believe it or not there's a such thing called good stress now have you ever been in a moment where you just like got a promotion or you got some good news and and like you've been chosen to go speak at a convention that's good news 
very good news. And you get to be the featured speaker of that, that convention. Great news. But then you get nervous as the day goes close. You get dirt, nervous, you get butterflies. And it's good stress because it's, it's re resulting from a positive thing. Now, as good as that stress is, it can very quickly turn into bad stress when we start overthinking, start over processing, start over analyzing, start going, well, what if they don't like what I say? Or what if they don't pay attention to me? Or what if they start looking at their phones while I'm speaking? What if some people just get up because they're bored? What if some people just fall asleep when we start, start stacking that stuff and all that extra added stress on? And it's, sometimes it's caused because of things we can't control. We can't control what other people are going to do in that audience, but we worry about it too much anyway. And then sometimes bad stress comes about because we're overwhelmed by the situations we have. We don't have enough money to pay our bills. We have too much money and other people are coming after us to borrow something. We don't have enough time to do this. We don't have enough time to feed our kids and go to work and go to school and clean up the house and take care of our, our spouses and, and take care of the car and take care of my, our mom and take, take, take care of our neighbors and all and take care of this and that and all that stuff. Do our stuff at church and do our stuff for our jobs. Go to this meeting, go to this social club, go to this, go to that. And we start stressing ourselves because we're overwhelmed by all the stuff we have to do. And they, they haven't even talked about, okay, this bill's due. This bill is overdue. Your rent's due. You just got a call saying, I'm going to turn your lights off. And you get overwhelmed that way. And bad stress comes because you start worrying, okay, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? How am I going to take this? What can I do to get this? But if I take this from that and I'm going, and you start spiraling and got out of control, you start overthinking, start over processing. And the next thing you know, you're having a nervous breakdown or you start to get high blood pressure or you start to get, get yourself into a place where you might cause yourself to have a stroke or to have a heart attack or anything, something like that. Stress, that's why stress is a silent killer. It could slowly but surely take us out if we let the bad stress get out of control. But if we can see ourselves getting that way or if we can see others that we love getting that way, catch it and remedy it by the balance of relaxing, taking time to rest, taking time to eat a proper diet, taking time to just take a breath, taking the time to just let some stuff go, not talk to some people on the day, not do some things on a certain day. We got to learn to live a life of balance. And that's today's feature song. It's a beautiful song by Ted Wynn and it's called Balance. And I, and I believe, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm just guessing at this point. I believe it's based off of the scripture in Ecclesiastes chapter three, verses one through eight, when it says, there's a time and a place for everything and a season in which we must all live underneath the heavens. A time to reap, a time to sow, a time to plant, a time to, to pluck up that has been planted, a time to laugh, a time to cry, a time to reap, a time to uh, sow, a time to war and a time to peace to be in peace, a time to be sorrowful, a time to be joyous, and so on and so forth. That's living a balanced life. There are good days and there are bad days. And the only thing that keeps us from reliving bad days and bad stress is how we think. Remember we did a series a while back ago that everything that we do goes back to how we're thinking based on the Proverbs. Watch your thoughts because they form your words. Watch your words because they form your actions. Watch your actions because they form your habits. Watch your habits because they de develop your character. And watch your character because it forms your destiny. It all goes back to what we think. If we, and like I did for that 11 day span, I kept dwelling and thinking on that one mistake and it made me think of everything else. Everything else that happened wrong, I kept adding that onto the, onto the negative pile. And that negativity kept building and kept building. And that's why I told Marche, oh, no, step back from that mic. Step back from the mic. Take a deep breath. Relax. Be yourself. Have fun. And that's exactly what she did. And she's a phenomenal talent. Just a very, very great young person to be around and I and I pray that her example of stepping back and just enjoying yourself and whatever you're doing spreads to all of us including myself because sometimes we all need to be reminded to all right step back let it go just drop it go do something else go do something else fun whether it be just watching a movie or listening to some music or just go sitting on the back porch and just watching cars go by or, or just go for a walk uh, go take a trip whether it be by yourself or with some friends, just go out to get get a bite to eat. Go watch a movie. Just just take a nap. Do something to balance out the life 
of chaos that we can find ourselves in in the snap of a finger. And if we're not careful, that's how stress will win. Stress wins when we lose control of the balance. Stress wins when we allow the worries and the fears and the doubts to overwhelm us and take us out. Stress wins when we do that. And unfortunately, if stress is winning, that means we're losing. And we are not designed to lose, especially if we're in Jesus Christ. Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Now, he never promised it would be easy, but if we keep him in our hearts and our minds, and we keep him on the inside of us, as I scratch my face, excuse me, but if we keep him with us, he'll give us a way of escape to every problem that we face, every temptation we go through, every problem that we have. He told us that he will be there for us even to the end of the world. He also told us to cast our cares upon him, for he cares for us, for his yoke is easy and his burden is light. He's able to carry us through that sand so that we only see one set of footprints. And even when we worry, I thought you said you'd be with me. He reminded me, hey, I'm the one carrying you. I'm the one here still with you. I'm the one providing you that peace that surpasses all understanding. And when we realize that, we can relax, let that stuff go and, and seize the day. Carpe diem, live our life to the fullest. We cannot live an abundant life if we stay worried. We can't live an abundant life if we keep overthinking, overanalyzing things. We got to learn to let go. Like the episode of the Cosby Show when Elvin's trying to open the pickle jar for Sandra. Cliff just told her before that sometimes you just gotta step back and let it go. You ain't gotta win every, every argument, you just gotta step back and let go. So when he was trying to open up that pickle jar and Sandra said, no, I can do it, no, I got this, I got this, I got this. And eventually he remembered what Cliff said, he, so he just dropped the pickle jar and just let it go. He stepped back. Sometimes we just gotta step back and let go of some things, whether it be laying down a track, whether it be working on a, a an exam, working on a, a paper for, for school, or doing a, an assignment for your job, or, working on something at home just or balancing your checkbook whatever it may be doing sometimes you gotta just a moment you gotta step back and i gotta raise my hand on that too because sometimes i'll get caught up in an assignment editing and podcast and before i know it it's 2 30 in the morning and like where did the time go just going 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 and then the next day is already ruined because i'm starting the day behind not getting enough sleep so now i'm dragging i'm not focused and then when i get focused you get you get ornery, you get you get grouchy, and when you get grouchy, you get angry, and you get angry, you get negative, and you start worrying, you get frustrated, and all that stuff piles on. And that's how stress starts to wear down on us. And that's how stress starts to win. But when we learn to let it go, when we learn to let go and let God, and we learn to remember the serenity prayer, God, give grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. It helps us to understand and look at that thing. All right, did I cause that? Can I change that? I can't, then I gotta step back, let it go and move on to something else. Or if I can change that, okay, Lord, what can I do to change that? Help me to figure out a way to change that. And Lord, grant me the wisdom to know that, okay, I can't change that, so let me let it go. I gotta let that go. I can change that, so what can I do? What can I do? And take it step by step, day by day. And all the while, live our life in balance to enjoy the life that we can. Enjoy the life that the Lord has given you. Enjoy the gifts and talents and skills and abilities and your friends and family all to the best of your ability. Life is too short to live a stress-filled life. Enjoy it. Be the best that you can be. Be what Shay is. A beautiful young lady with a brilliant life, a brilliant, a brilliant outlook on life. Although sometimes she overthinks, who doesn't? But she has the capability and wherewithal to stop herself. It's like, okay, stop it. You're better than that. All right, let's just shake it off and let's move forward. And I'm proud of her for doing that. And I'm proud of her for reminding me of doing that. Even, even if she realized it or not, she reminds me to stop. Stop beating yourself up. Let it go. You're better than that because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I've got to stop beating myself up, let it go, move on forward. We keep moving forward, keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Enjoy life, keep moving forward, and be the best that you can be on every day by living a life of balance. Let's pray. 
Father God, I thank you so much for who you are in our lives. We thank you for every word that you give us of wisdom, of grace, and of love, and everything that you do say and think for us. Lord, we thank you for reminding us that life is too short to keep dwelling, dwelling and stressing over things, especially the things that we cannot control. Lord, help us to understand that peace lies in you. Grace lies in you. Hope lies in you. Help us to keep to seek you for the peace that surpasses all understanding. And while we have that peace, let us focus on those things that are just, those things that are pure, those things that are lovely, those things that are righteous, those things that are of a good report. And if there be any virtue and be in the praise, think on those things. And so that we can continue to live that balanced life. There are good days and there are bad days and they will come and they will go. So Lord, help us to live at life in balance, not dwelling on one thing too much helping us to live a life of balance and enjoy the life that we have. It won't have the life of anybody else. So let's stop trying to emulate and imitate other people. Help us to be who you called us to be. Help us to enjoy who we are and help us to live that life with you. In Jesus name. Amen. Now today we have no birthday or anniversary shout outs to speak of, but if you do have any birthday or anniversary shout outs that you would like to send in to be shouted out here on the Daily Pause Devotional, as well as any comments that you would like to, like to send in, any of uh, any um, uh, requests of devotional topics that you would like to see, or if you have any encouraging words that you would like to send in through a text or through a message, or maybe you saw something on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter that you would like to send in, or maybe you would like to make your own, own video or something encouraging you would like to share through the Daily Pause Devotional, as well as send in any of your favorite songs you would like to see featured as a part of the Daily Pause Devotional. You can send those in by leaving them in the comment section down below, or contact me on Facebook Messenger by email at glwilkins78 at outlook.com. You can also tweet me at gregwilkins78, G-R-E-G-G, W-I-L-K-I-N-S and the number 78. No spaces and no underscores, just all one big old word. Or you can text me, 864-860-1522. And I look to all those things. I look forward to hearing from you. And I hope that you are blessed by today's devotional. And I hope it gives you the encouragement to live life in balance. Have good days, have bad days. Don't dwell on any one thing too much. It's kind of like having that, that, that red velvet cake, one of my favorite cakes. It's great to have every now and then, but if you have, if you make a diet, a red velvet cake all day, every day for the rest of your life, you'll start to have tooth decay. You start to have, you start to get, get over out of control weight gain. You could develop other health issues. That's the same thing we do when we allow stress to get out of control. We got to keep that in balance. That slice of cake is good every now and then, but you can't have it like every day for the next six months. You know, live life in balance, enjoy life, get through the things you got to get through, but and take the time to relax, take the time to cry, take the time to laugh, take the time. Yes, be angry, but don't get let the anger lead you into something even worse. Let that balance come in and let that peace come back in. Live a life of balance to the best of your ability. Continue to love each other, continue to be safe. And remember, every day there is always time to take a pause. And Lord willing, I will see you again on tomorrow. Enjoy today's feature song, Balance, from the album, Balance, by Ted Wynn, produced in 2009 by Teddy Jams Music. I hope I pray this song and today's devotional is a blessing for you all. And may God continue to cover you, keep you, and bless you in all that you do, say, and think on today. Take care, God bless, and I truly do love you all. Today's feature song starts right now. Take care. Talk to you later. For every summer day, there's a winter night. Some days everything goes wrong. Some days everything goes right. For every love you lose, another one you'll gain. Some pleasure, but there will be some pain for every mountain high. There's a battle. Remember that you will reap what you sow. See, every day life is filled with give and take, and it's a game of balance.
the laws that govern you and me. Have respect for nature. This world is not your own. We all share this planet, so treat it like your own. Treat it like your own. Desperation for the many people in this imbalanced generation. Some lean into the Some left, lean into the Some left, lean into the Some right, lean into the Some right. People so confused, they can't see the light. There is a lesson that I hope you learn from the heart of the song. 